Hi, Marcy Wunjoy here again, and today I want to cover a topic that I know many people have questions about, and what is the value of business coaching? So many people aren't aware of what business coaching is, or of what value you can bring, or what value it can bring to you and your business. And I wanted to look at it today, especially because we're in a pandemic. And I wanted to share with you the different ways in which a coach can help you during this period. You know, when I started Action Coach 10 years ago in Jamaica, I did it because I felt that this is something that businesses needed. Just as how an athlete has a coach, so should every business owner. And the reason why athletes have a coach is because they want to excel. They want to win in their game. Now, it's the same in business, but our winning is because we want to be top of our field in business. And the thing with coaching is that many persons cannot see themselves. And so what a coach does is to help you do that. So I want to go through some of the main areas and reasons. I'm going to make my slides a little bigger for you. So the first thing I want to say is that especially during a pandemic as an entrepreneur, your day-to-day -day decisions and responsibilities rest solely on our shoulders. And sometimes that can feel very lonely and very daunting. You, you know, sometimes you'll have ideas that you want to implement, but you may lack the vision or the ability to execute without that confidence. So during this session today, I want to cover the following areas in which a business coach can help you to grow your business. Now at Action Coach, we are the world's leading business coaching firm. Been around here for 10 years and worldwide we've been in business for 28 years. So the areas in which we help business owners around the world when we coach them is helping to get clarity around where you're going, helping to develop your vision. I just did this with our team on Friday. Has been in business for a while, but you know, sometimes you may actually lose your direction, especially if you've been in business for a long time. And when I speak to some business owners, they've said, you know, I've lost my vision and I, I started my business with this in mind, but 10 years, 15, 20 years, no, I'm not sure. And especially now in this pandemic, I'm not even sure where I'm going to take the business. So we help you to develop that vision for the future. We want to help you to build confidence in yourself, goal setting, because if you're going to achieve um, objectives in your business and we have to have concrete smart goals then we help you to implement that's one of the things which differentiates action coach from many other coaching firms is that we don't just teach you we actually help you to implement and we show you how to implement and that is how we have gotten results for so many clients you know many business owners are not accountable to anyone so accountability is another area help to motivate you and inspire you coach and mentor you and help you to overcome obstacles and changing your plan when it needs to change. Sometimes we hold on to things and we won't change when it's time to change. So another role of the coach is that when you're finding yourself feeling frustrated, uncertain or anxious about the future, a business coach can quickly become that friend to you and your growing business. So it is said, you know, a coach is someone who tells you what you don't want to hear, who has you see what you don't want to see, so you can be who you always knew you could be. So there is always a slide I cover with business owners, and it says, I won't be nice. Because what nice means is nothing inside me cares enough. So if as a parent, you allowed your children to just run rampant and you never ever told them the things that they needed to know for their success and for their future and you just left them because you just want to be nice, you don't want them to not like you, that's not going to help them. So I won't be nice. We as coaches aren't nice because what we recognize and when we say that word nice is that sometimes you have to 
be told the things that you don't want to be told and the things that you're anxious about, right? So when you're finding yourself feeling frustrated, uncertain, or anxious about the future, we can quickly become that confidant to you and your growing business. Just the other day, Melanin Levy from Cran Decree, she posted this very nice video just saying, you know, she was so grateful to have me as her coach because during this pandemic, it gave her that confidence where Brunson Leadership Mastermind. So she was able to have that confidence and knowing that there was someone that she could bounce ideas off and that who believed in her. So in the chat below, I want you to share what you feel that you could use the most help with when it comes to running your business. Each of us has an area. You know, some people will tell me, I don't understand financials. But there's usually some area that we aren't very comfortable with. So I want you to share what that is in the chat. And I'm, I'm looking out for those as well. So when we're a coach, as you're a coach, what we want to do is to help, as I said, build your confidence, uh, confidence as a business professional. You know, while some people believe that confidence is something that you're born with, the truth is, folks, confidence is a muscle you have to constantly work and you have to constantly work on it and sometimes with outside help. During this pandemic, many people are losing or have lost their confidence. So a coach can help you with the following. They help you to create, especially now, effective structures for your business because what you had before the pandemic may not be suitable for you now. So they can help you also to believe in yourself and your ability to build and sustain your business. Some of us have lost that confidence. Yeah, we brought it this far, but you know, a lot of what we built is being eroded. And I'm not sure where to go next, or do I, do I believe I have it in me still to be able to build back the business and sustain it? A coach will also help to reinforce efficient decision-making. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we have an idea, but you want somebody else who is going to say, okay, yes, this can work. We will also encourage action and forward momentum. A lot of times we sit down in analysis paralysis, especially if we're that kind of, you know, profile, this profile, where you are, you know, that kind of person who is always going to be thinking through every single thing. What we call compliant. You have to dot every I and cross every T before you can move on. So we will have to say, okay, enough analysis. We've done the planning. It's no time to take action. Don't procrastinate until you lose the opportunity. We also help you to overcome, overcome some common obstacles. And you know, one of the things we do is we help to remind you why you started. So when you start to say, you know, okay, boy, I don't know if I can do this. We are there to help you to remember why you started the business in the first place. A lot of us believe that it's just money. That's why we always ask persons, why is it that you started the business? Because yes, you want to be wealthy and you want to have money for yourself. But we also want to move beyond that. So it's not chasing the vision. It's not chasing the money. It's chasing the vision remembering the why. Why did you start your business in the first place? So what we work on, the foundation of business coaching, is identifying and developing your vision. Right now, many of us have had to recast that vision. Some businesses have gone under. Some businesses are no longer relevant. Folks, I want to be clear on something. And it's something that I know is very hard to accept now. Yes, they have found a vaccine recently, but I want to say something. By the time the vaccine gets around to us in the volume that it needs to be, and by the time everyone is vaccinated and enough people are willing to take it, it's going to take time. They're saying 2023, 2024, before jobs market, before um, tourism before many things will be able to get back to the way it was before. 
I covered the, the Stockdale paradox last week. It was a very impromptu session because we have to face the brutal reality while at the same time having faith that we will get through this. But the thing is not being so optimistic that we believe that at the end of 2020 that it's going to all be over and come 2021, we're back on track. It won't happen that fast. And so what we need to be doing is recasting that vision right now, working out strategically, what does the next two to three years look like with different scenarios? So as a coach, we help to craft that vision for you. And your vision statement is not just words. I always say to people, it must be something that everybody in your team always is Jamaica abundance through business re-education. You know, it's one of those things that we're saying we want to help to create that abundance, but we have to help to re-educate the business community. And we believe in establishing that community. That's our vision statement. It is a beacon. It's a navigational beacon. And I think even now, even more, it is important to us to be that beacon to help people out there. And so your vision statement should be something that answers the following questions. Why do you even want to build this business? Who do you want to serve? Who are you serving now? What are you going to offer? And what does your ideal business look like? You, as the owner of that business, has to have clarity around that. And right now, it can feel muddy. Your vision statement also helps you to define where you want to go. Where do you see your business in two years? This 10-year thing is kind of hard to do. We say now kind of look two years out. How do you determine what will make your business a success? How will you measure success? Is it just money? Because I don't think that's it alone. And all these questions are critical to getting your business off the ground and back up again. And the answers to them will contribute to the sustainability of your business. Goal setting is one of the things that we do. So we have our our, our growth club planning session. And by the way, I'm just telling you from now that we are going to be doing a very big offer on our growth club to end this year because this year on December 10th, we'll be planning for 2021. Yes, we still have to plan. So we're going to plan for 2021 and we're going to plan for the first quarter. And we're going to be making a very special offer to everyone out there so that you will all be able to invest in this program because we should not enter 2021 without a plan. So one of the things a coach does is to help you with your goal setting. And that also is the mission statement. One of the first steps to setting goals for your business is writing a mission statement. So the vision is a long term. It's the why. The mission statement is how we're going to get there. That's a part of the goal setting. You know, in leadership, in, in team building, we say there are six keys to a winning team. Strong leadership, common goals. The leadership, which is you, has got to be able to cast the vision, which is a common goal for the team. You have assembled a team together, but where are you going? So the vision is a why. But the mission is a how are we going to get to that vision? So it is the purpose and it helps you to create that roadmap as you move forward. So as your coaches, a big part of our job is also helping clients to create that mission statement for their business, not just for themselves, but for the team members, because companies don't succeed, people do. And if you bring all these people together in this organization, they can't be just wandering up and down every day, just doing tasks and going home with a paycheck. They are looking to you to say, can you imagine if the reggae boys on their, way to, on, on their way to World Cup didn't have a coach or a manager? What would they be doing out there? Just kicking ball all day? But no, you hear about the coach, you hear about the manager, they come together, they look at the goals, where are we going, what is the objective, what is the strategy, mission, how are we going to get there? So the goals you establish in your mission statement will help your business 
internal functions run more smoothly from day to day. And it will also help to define the key measures of your business success. So a mission should be thinking about, you know, what kind of people do I want on the team? What kind of products or, 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 or services will we offer? How will we deliver? What kind of clients will we serve? Who will we be in the community? Those are questions we need to answer. Because especially now, people need something to align with. Align around. Especially Gen Z and X, Y, and Y. <laughs> All right. So writing down your goals makes plans to achieve them. Work, write down your goals, make plans to achieve them, work on your plan every single day. So when we actually work with clients, goal setting is something that we do. So remember I said that growth club quarterly planning session. At that session, you develop goals followed by strategies and actions for three months, 90 day increments. And then those three months are broken down into weeks. And then those weeks are broken into days. So when you work with a coach, they help you to ensure that those strategies and actions that you commit to every single day, you are making sure that you're doing some action that's going to get you closer to the weekly goal, to the monthly goal, to the quarterly goal, and to the annual goal. So goal setting is that catalyst. It is that thing that gives everybody movement and momentum because we're all aligned around this common goal. Thank you very much, Erica. Ericia, sorry. I need to do my goal setting for 2021 and beyond. Well, girl, hold on for the link for Growth Club at the end of this. We have a special offer for Growth Club. You understand? And I really, folks, want everyone at this Growth Club. We're making it at an affordable offer because we want everybody to enter 2021 with an action plan. Something. Don't just start the year. And just start the year. So you want to give your team a plan, something to give them movement and momentum in your business. And we want them to be measurable. And we want them to define how you want to serve your market. So in those goals, align it with your business objectives. And what are we going to do for the clients we serve? And we're going to look at the action steps that we'll need to take to do so. So... Somebody told me, Ericia, I need to do my goal setting for 2021 and beyond. But I want people to just type in for me one goal that you have for your business. I don't need a million, but just put one goal. Just type it in the chat. Just one goal. Just something that you have for your business. And the reason why I'm doing it, you know, if you have no goals, you're just wandering around. So think about it. What is a goal? that I have for my business and type it in. Now, setting goals is one thing, but remember what I said a coach does? They hold you accountable. You can't turn your goals into success without action. That's why we are called action coach. Look at this logo, action coach. It didn't say thinking coach. It never said dreaming coach. It says action coach and what that means is we are going to coach you to take action folks you can't turn your goals into success without action don't believe the book the secret says that you are just to sit in the chair and go um i want a million dollars to drop into my lamp mm, yes i see it and you just sit in the chair and do nothing the universe don't work that way it wants you to choose what you want, but then you have got to follow it with action. So we help you to implement, and this is a necessary step to goal setting. So as a, as a, as a leader, we help it. you have to have the goals, and then you have to align your team around it. You have to plan what the actions are, and then you have to implement. 
You can't just put on now a whole list of actions and do nothing with them. So we help you to implement your goals by creating that plan. And then we show you and we provide you with the tools. So that's the other thing. We won't say to you, create a budget and don't give you a template. We won't say to you, do a cash flow forecast and we don't give you a template. We won't say to you to, to, to write a job description or position contract and we don't help you with that as well. We give you the tools because we know you need that help. All right? So you need to implement. Now, oh dear. Hold on one second. I seem to be having. Um, I hope you're all still seeing me. I just got a message here. And I do hope that it is it is fine. All right. Okay. All right. So just put in the chat for me if you're still hearing me. And if you're still receiving this. Because I'm getting a message here. And I want to make sure. Can you just type for me that you're still receiving me? Oh, in the meantime, I see Babette. Oh, awesome. Lovely. So people with goals succeed because they know where they are going. Yep. It's as simple as that. So your strategic plan helps you to identify the necessary actions that must be taken to achieve the goal. You know, in my other life, in another life that I had, I was a vice president at Citigroup. And, and, and one of the things is that in Citigroup, you know, um, I, I, as a banker, I used to, um, I used to, as a banker, one of the th things we used to do was to let, I'm still getting this message, but I'm glad that you're still seeing and hearing me. Right. So one of the things is that we would always lend money, especially. But one of the things that a bank is going to ask you for is, I seem to have frozen. All right. I'm going to share my screen again because I believe I may have lost that. Folks, I am, I think you may have, I may have lost you. I'm not, I'm not seeing you froze, but you can hear me. Right. Okay. I just want to get my screen back up for you. These are the things that happen in technical difficulties. All right. So I do believe I may have you back. Wow. Wow. This is what happens when you have to depend on technology. All right. Tell me that you can still see me. Are you seeing my screen? I don't think I'm frozen anymore. I do believe that you can still see me. All right. Good. All right. So let's move along. So your strategic plans help you to identify the goals that must be taken to achieve the goal. So as I... Oh. I know where I was. So when we have a business plan and we ask as a banker to give the plan to us, many people got the plan, got somebody to write a plan so they could get the loan and then they put the plan in the desk drawer and they never looked at it again. So when I ask clients when they start coaching with me, I said, so when was the last time you looked at your business plan? And they look at me with a sheepish, sheepish grin because they know they haven't. And you know what else to whatever was written in that plan, they didn't write it, so they didn't believe in it. So we help you to come up with a plan right now that you need to take the necessary actions to achieve. It will outline the people or resources you will need to complete the goal. Because remember, I said companies don't succeed, people do. So when we come up with a plan, we have to say, okay, if these are the strategies and these are the things that we're going to be doing, who are the people with what skills will we need? What resources will we need? Whether it's computer, whether it's equipment, whether it's land, office space, whatever. 
So, so the, the responsibilities of each individual involved in implementing the goal are outlined in the plan. So when we do our planning, you know, it says who does what and by when. And then we look at what systems will be necessary to help you efficiently and effectively carry out your goal to completion. You know, Abraham Lincoln once said this. If I give you an axe to cut down a tree and I give you only six hours to do it, what's the first thing you're going to do? Not many people first said I'm going to do. Grab the axe and just start chopping. But Abraham Lincoln says, no, what you need to do first is shot. I would spend the first four hours sharpening the axe and then the last two just swiftly cutting it down. That's what planning does. Planning is sharpening the axe. Not only planning, part of it also in sharpening that axe, which is you, is gaining the knowledge and the skills that you need. Because if not, you're going to go into 21 with this blunt axe. And you're there just trying with all your might to hit down the tree and wasting a lot of energy. But instead, what if you learned? the skills, the resources, and got the help to be able to do it. All right? So that's very important. Now, this thing about the accountability, I always say to everybody, as a business owner, who are you accountable to? Now, unless I quote some companies that are on the stock exchange. So when you're on the exchange, suddenly now we are very, very accountable because you have a board. And every quarter, everybody's running around because they have to prepare board papers and, and strategic plan and a million things for the board. But before they became a public company, they were accountable to no one. Yes, some of them had a private board, but you weren't really accountable to anyone. And so most companies out there, the owner is accountable to no one so if you wake up this morning and you just feel like boy i don't feel like doing it then we just don't do it or if you said you wanted to achieve this goal are you going to implement this strategy and you just said boy you know uh, let me keep putting it off there is no one who is holding you accountable to the goals so we see so many people struggling with meeting those goals and two of the most common reasons is that lack of accountability and then a lack of motivation, which is what is the why. So as a business coach, this is where we help you with the why, which is getting that motivation, helping you to get back that vision and purpose, and then holding you accountable. So who do you need to contact? So here are some questions that may help to hold you accountable. And they may include, who do you need to contact to help you achieve this goal? So when we ask you that, what do I need? Who do I need to speak to? When will you schedule a call or meeting with this person? So some of us keep saying, yeah, man, I'm going to call and I'm going to do this. Next week when you turn up with the coach, the coach is going to ask you, so did you call this person? When will you schedule that call or meeting? What day and what time? Who else can support you in achieving the goal? As a coach, we ask a lot of questions. We are teaching you to fish so you can fish for life. And what is the date you want to have this goal completed by? These are just some of the questions we ask to ensure that you keep on track and that you don't sit down there in the land of someday isle. That's not the name of an island. Okay. So as a business coach, our role is to help you to accomplish each step necessary to achieve your goal by holding you accountable for the work required to make it happen. Where the focus goes, the energy flows. So we help you to keep your eye on the prize. Many, many of us lose focus. We always say that Stephen Covey in his four time quadrant said that, you know, we, we tend to operate in four, there are four different zones. The urgent and important, the not important but urgent, the ur not urgent and not important, and the not urgent, the not important but urgent. So in each of these, we have to find out which one we're in. 
most of the day. And when we do a time study of our business owners, what we find, most business owners are in the urgent and important. That is called crisis. This is where you are burnout. This is where you're going to stress. So what we do is we help you to keep your eye on the prize, which is working on the things that are not urgent, but important, the planning, the actions. So we hold you accountable by keeping your eyes on the prize, remembering your why, and then also ensuring that we help you with the tools. I am your sounding board for the challenges, frustrations, and most of all, a source of your motivation and inspiration to achieve your, your goal. Folks, it's hard to stay motivated when you feel like you're building your business all alone. And most business owners feel that way. I have had business owners even with 50, 60 team members. Yes, they have other managers, but still, it feels so lonely at the top unless you have built a team. Unless you have built a team, then you're going to still feel lonely at the top. So it's important to have someone that you can celebrate your wins with big or small in your business and to encourage you along. You know, we've been offering pro bono sessions, complimentary coaching sessions, and I see some of you putting some of your goals inside there. If you would like a complimentary coaching session with a coach, please type inside there a free call. My business development manager is there, so she'll note your names and follow up with you. We are offering pro bono sessions, which is a session where you meet with a coach for 45 minutes for us to help you to, to, to really hone in on where you're going, what you need to do, and some next steps we discuss. And you know what is what I'm finding every time I'm speaking to people in those sessions? They're feeling lonely. They're feeling depressed in some cases, and they've lost their motivation. So we help you, much like accountability and motivation, inspiration is often hard to find in your business. But as a coach, we're familiar with your business and others that are like it. We have seen what works and what might not. So we help to provide you with business and personal inspiration. And we start off our coaching with what we call an owner's alignment session. And here we go back to what are your personal goals? What are your personal goals? Because your business must be helping you to achieve those personal goals. So what we want to inspire you with first is, you know, Brad Chigas always say, Decide on the kind of life you want and then design your business around it. What's the life that you want? Some people have actually lost the vision of even what their personal life and goals are because they're looking at the world now and going, where is it going? So many people are giving up, but we need to come back again. So one of the things we, we start off coaching with is having all our business owners do what we call a dream builder. You may have seen the movie, The Bucket List. This is not just the bucket list. This is about all the things that you want to have in life, all the things that you want to do and be. And I tell people some of the things I put on my list when Action Coach taught me this principle was things like standing at the foot of a bull elephant in a safari. I didn't just stand at the foot of a bull elephant. I actually rode an elephant in Indonesia Valley. I then soared over the African safari in South Africa in a hot air balloon and a helicopter. I also said I wanted to dive the Great Barrier Reef, and there I was in Hamilton Island in 2018 achieving that dream. But the thing is that you first of all have to say to the universe, what do I want to have? Give me something that inspires me. And then say, because I want that so much, then design the business around it so it will give me the profits and will give me the time to be able to achieve that. It is a very essential part of what we do in coaching. That's why we start. So our help, our job, as a coach is to help to ignite your passion and to keep that fire burning because we know 
that inspiration is a powerful influence on behavior and outcome. If you really want something and believe in it, you'll go for it. So one way to keep momentum going is to have constantly greater goals. Before you can succeed, you must first believe in your ability to get where you want to go. And, and, and what is happening is that many of us no longer believe in that. Oh dear, I think I've, I've frozen again. Let me, let me start back my cam. Up to the stream. Folks, are you seeing me? Obviously, I don't think my cam is something is just everything is off today. I don't know what is happening. All right. I think you may see me now. All right, good. So before you can succeed, you must believe in your ability to get there. So as coaches, we inspire you to believe in yourself. So one of the things we'll do is equip you with the resources and support that help you to feel inspired, like that dream builder. We even sit down and say to you, okay, you need to work out your net worth. Okay, and many people don't want to do that, but we need to know where we are. You can't plan for the future if you don't know where you are now. So it's very important for you to have that ongoing support that will help you to feel inspired by learning new ideas and approaches to moving your business forward. Okay. Thank you so much, Audrey. You are such a help for me. All right. So the other thing that we want to look at here, I'm really going to have to figure out why I'm having all of these technical issues today is when and where so thanks to technology when it works business coaching can exist in many forms one is live and in person but right now it's more virtual so we have meetings via video conferencing like this or online and so you know we give you those options as well we used to have in person but that's not working right now now as a coach, it's not necessarily our job to tell you what to do next, right? We're not here to tell you what to do. Instead, we work with you to create that plan and be sure that you understand the why behind it. So coaching is that universal language of change and learning. So by providing support and that encouragement, it's a big part of what we offer helping you to identify, as I said, your business and personal blind spots is also something that we can help you with. Working to identify your weakness as an individual and business owner allows you to tackle the difficult situations in your work. You know what? Many business owners, and I'm going to tell you, if I say one in 10, it, 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 you know, if I say 40, I would say maybe four in 40, Business owners actually know their numbers. They don't look at their financials until it's tax time. And at that point, you cannot influence your decisions. And remember something, your financials are the report card for your business. Many of us want the report card for our children when they go to school. But you know what is our report card as business owners? It's our financial statements. Because all that your financial statements are is a reflection of all the decisions that you have made. All them expenses that you've seen inside there is you do it, you know. You approve them. You made them. And whether we sell or not is based on the actions we took or didn't take. And so we can't wait until the end of the year. We need to be looking at them every single month. But what's happening is that most business owners are afraid of the numbers because when they look at it, their eyes start to cross and glaze over. Well, that's one of the things. I'm having a cash rich seminar coming up in December. I'm finalizing the date for that, where we want to help you to understand your numbers in your business. So working to identify your weaknesses 
allows you with the coach to be able to tackle them so that you can ensure that you're putting them in place. So coaching is a process of imparting knowledge and skills to you. So that's why part of coaching is helping you to get clarity around your goals, strategically personal and, personal and business. We educate you. We have one of the best coaching online portals in the world for a business coaching firm. In there are hundreds of videos that you can watch. So what we do is we use a combination of books, of videos, of workshops, of the coach with you, and the community as well, because I can tell you something, when you get into that group coaching community, it is learning from each other. So it's a process of imparting knowledge, helping you to build that plan and holding you focused and accountable. So coaches in all walks of life are there to cheer you on. That's what we do. Support your goals and help you to determine the path you need to get there. Don't try to do it. Mentorship is about helping you to develop your talent strategically. So as a business coach, we mentor our clients by encouraging them to develop the skills that will maximize their business potential. Help them to develop the skills that will improve their performance as a business owner. So at Action Coach, we are also John Maxwell leadership coaches. And I'm also a team engagement coach. So I represent three different international coaching franchises. And so we do business coaching, leadership development, and team engagement. Remember I said companies don't succeed, people do. So we help you as a business owner to improve your performance and your team's performance. And a big area of a business owner is understanding leadership. We know our trade, but we don't know leadership. And leadership is influence. And so we do masterminds as well to help you. So we help you to expand the resources and networks. That's why we say, let's have a community. We also are able to, 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 to let you know who else you can rely on and a network of persons that you can access. And not only that, we create that safe environment for exploring options and taking risks. So together, we look at the opportunities, we look at the strategies, and then we map them out. And then we say, okay, based on all of what we have now, let's go ahead and test and measure. So the exact role of mentorship will differ with each client. But the foundation of mentorship is still supporting business planning and action. Remember, I said we're called action coach, not thinking coach and dreaming show coach. So ultimately in coaching, whatever we educate. So when a client reads a book, I, I say a book, who reads a book, I say to them, so what were your top learnings from your reading? You have got to read, write down what you learned, and then take action. It don't make any sense just reading into oblivion and not taking action. All right? So very important. So coaching is unlocking person's potential so as to maximize their own performance. Oh, I love that. That statement there. And I want to go back into it. It says, it's unlocking a person's potential. You know, when Usain Bolt first started, young, skinny, lanky, tall, young man that used to run with the cross in the mouth. But what people saw in Usain was his potential. That's what coaches do. They see your potential. And we unlock that to maximize your own performance. It's helping them to learn rather than teaching them. You know what I just said? It's helping you to learn rather than just teaching you. That's why we say learn, read, learn, implement, take action. All right? Very important. I'm almost done. So another thing that a coach helps you with is overcoming obstacles. This is very crucial. We are going to face many of them. So one thing that you'll face always is that obstacle somewhere along the line, big or small, some barrier will fall into your path. 
The question is, how will you handle it? It's not what happens to you in life, you know, is how you respond to it. This is the biggest challenge we're going to, this world has faced. The question is, how will we handle it? There are some days you're going to feel like you can't. So the obstacle will result in anger, in fear, frustration, a feeling of being, you know, defeated and hopeless. But as a coach, it's our job to be that person to support you through those challenges and to help you plan a way to overcome them. So put in the comments for me. How do you feel that you react to obstacles? Be honest. When you face them, how do you feel that you really react to those obstacles? All right? Because, you know, sometimes we just have to say, okay, this is the way I do it. I know this is the way I do it. But, you know, I could... I could approach it differently. So in our experience, when you're too close to the problem, it can quickly feel overwhelming and impossible to overcome. So that coach gives you a perspective. We offer you a perspective. We are the objective observer. I try not to take sides. So who can take a critical look? That's what we are. We are the objective observer who will take a critical look at what has happened, how or why it has happened, and what it will take to move forward. That's what we do. And more often than not, people let their reactives, so remember we can either respond or react. React is more a negative knee-jerk reaction. Response is a more measured response, okay? So people let their reactive feelings get the best of them. But a reaction, as I said, is that knee-jerk thing. Response, which is what we want to do and we help you to do, requires an evaluation of the impact of the decision and the implication it will have. So, we, you know, sometimes in the heat of the, the, the moment, we just make a decision. And then it's later on, you look at it, oh, no. But if you have a coach, I said to my clients, before you make a decision sometimes, call me. Call me, message me, especially if you feel that you're doing something in the emotion of the moment. So it requires an evaluation of the impact of the decision and the implication. And that is what we can help you with to remind you of all of those things, which are crucial. All right. So the other thing as well is hold on for me. Okay, I'm stuck again.
Folks, are you seeing me? Okay, a couple of people are still here. Very good. So I'm not going to share any more presentation. I'm just going to talk to you because I don't want to, to lose you. So one of the things that the coach also does as well is that sometimes even the best plans that you have need to be changed. Can you confirm for me that you're hearing me, guys? Oh, dear. I just so didn't like the fact that I had to leave you a while ago. Are you hearing me? Somebody just tell me who is online that you are hearing me. I know we're going very long today. Um, your off screen just logos on. Are you seeing me now? Are you seeing me now? I hope so. All right. I doubt this. We seem to be having a chat. Okay, you're green. Thank you, Eon. All right, let me just continue because I want to make sure. So even the best plans that we have need to be changed. So when you're in the trenches day to day, it can become challenging to see the larger picture. So as your coach, what we do is to help you to take an objective view of the problem. And when necessary, we help you to change and tweak the plan. So very importantly, the coach will help you to re-strategize. Now, if the plan doesn't work, one of the things we also always say is change the plan. So right now, many of us have made plans and they're not working. And one of the things we're saying is change the plan, but never change the goal. So rarely can you change one thing without impacting goal or steps that are further down the line. But with a broader view of your business and your goals, we can help you to navigate your options. So you still have that you intend to go down the road. But along the way to get to that other part of the country, to get to Montego Bay, you may have to go, instead of using the highway, you may have to go south coast, go up by St. Elizabeth, go through somewhere else and over the hill. It just means that you still intend to get to Montego Bay, but you may have to change the route or the way you're going to use to get there. So we help you to navigate your options and explore them. So we can help you to identify and adjust both your short and your long-term goals in the end that will help you. All right. So one of the things I want to talk about now is to, is to look at what are some of the options that are available to you. So remember I said I was going to make an offer for Growth Club. So we have our 90 days. So let me just put up some links here. And I want you to see these links. We shared them last week, but I want to share them again for you. And it's that we want to be, um, hold on. Let me just end the show because it is not working for me. All right, let me just close this and bring this over here. All right, so what I want to do is share with you now the links for our upcoming workshop. So this one here that I'm going to put, and I'm actually going to just put it, the link in the, um, in the session. All right, so I'm going to put it inside here. So I want, this is not for Growth Club, this is really for our um, upcoming group coaching session. So this is one. And what this does is that this is a group coaching workshop that we have starting next year, but we are going to be having an introductory session where Coach Arlene will be introducing you to our 12 month group coaching program that we'll be offering next year. And it's called our Action Club Masterclass. So I really want you to at least start registering for that. And then the other one that I want to do as well is to put inside here the link for our upcoming Growth Club workshop. Now, this workshop I told you about is where we help you to establish your plans. So we will be, I haven't updated the page yet, but we'll be doing so. 
is that we are going to be offering a special um and i just thought just just but just decided it when i came inside here today and i said you know i want to make this offer to everyone so i'm going to adjust the pricing on it um afterwards we are offering our growth club workshop today to you at a discounted rate so we'll be offering it for five thousand jamaican dollars for you to attend this this um, action, this it's 90 day planning session. It will be in December on December 10th. And we're inviting you to come out and plan for 2021. So it runs from 8.45 to 3 p.m. This is a special offer. And I highly recommend that you take um, action on it now before um, you won't be able to again. So let me just make sure that I have put that in the chat. So there are two things there. One is our upcoming 90-day planning session, Growth Club, which will be on December 10th. And the other thing I'm inviting you to as well is the preview. It's the introductory session where Coach Arlene will be sharing with you our group coaching one-year masterclass program, which starts in, in, in the middle of January. But she's going to be holding a, um introductory session, which is a webinar, to explain to you how that session will work. And that will be on November 19 at 3 p.m. So register for it, click on both of the links, register before your growth club session, because we only have a few seats available. We can't seat the whole world. And so um, access the growth club so you can, can, can go for your 90-day um, planning session, as well as register for the free webinar that will be held on November 19th at 3 p.m. where Coach Arlene will be sharing more about our first. This is the first time we'll be offering this. It's a one-year group coaching program where you'll meet with a coach, develop a community, and it's all about focus, accountability, and implementation. All right? So, folks, I put a number of options inside here for you because as coaches, we provide different things. We do group coaching we do individual coaching. We also do planning. The important thing I want to say is this. If you want to succeed long term, you can't stay with the same level of thinking. As Brad Jigger says, you can't grow a business that is bigger than your thinking. And that's what we're helping you in coaching is to help you with knowledge, education, to help you to to, to, to think bigger. You know, I take some of our clients to our, some of our conferences and they leave their thinking as thinking two times the business now I want to 30 times it, you know? So your, your dreams get bigger. And as a result of that, the goals and the actions that you take. So I am, no, I'm way over time now, folks. I'm sorry for all the technical issues we had today. Again, I don't know what is happening. I don't know if it is the internet, but it is the internet because I, I, I disappeared. Um, and so, folks, I'm going to ask you to just click on those links and take action, whatever it is. So are there any questions before I leave? I know I'd seen some comments before. Ian, thank you very much. We're here in Maxine. Everybody could hear me, so that's great. Um, Dorette said there were some obstacles that she wanted. There was a response to the obstacles I must overcome, right? Um, okay. Some persons had said that some of the goals they had was to improve their client base. So some of those things, all of those things that I'm seeing there are things that we as coaches help you with. So remember, we're also offering pro bono coaching sessions. So if you are interested, please email us or phone us 876. So let me just put up our, um, our contact information here, right? So this is our information concerning um, our contact details, 876-755-3021, or email africadonaldson at actioncoach.com. So it's streaming across the page right now. And I highly encourage you folks, don't enter 2021 without accessing the knowledge, the focus, and accountability that coaching will provide you. And many people are saying they want everything free. Folks, nothing good in life is free. And so we're going to have to invest in our success. It takes an investment 
And that's one of the things that we are going to have to overcome is this thinking that everything should be providing to us free. We have to invest in our success. All right. So everybody have a wonderful day and we look forward to seeing you. And thanks for your patience as we work through these technical issues. All right. Take care. Goodie. Bye-bye.